Well, on YouTube, it's blog night tonight, and a while ago I promised you to show how to chemically tin a PCB. We will tin this PCB since you see there's still a, a photo coating on this, so it isn't tinned yet. This is how it comes out after etching, right after etching. And there's mainly two solutions around here. This is Sir Tin. This is uh, well it's from Bungard, which is. Um, a German, very popular German supplier um, and it has three components, this is how it comes and it is supposed to be used with two liters of water two liters of water um, use distilled water I really can recommend you to use distilled water with, with this stuff and um, this is mainly sulfuric acid the first part and some other components here um, which just can be shaken together and then once before you use it you have to shake it again because it falls out a little but not as much as um, uh, the, the Conrad stuff um, this is the other solution this is from Seno Glanztin that's the Conrad stuff and this stuff is really better and you will get a lot more out of this compared to the price so I can recommend this one so how does it work at first, of course, you must clean your PCB, which we do with this stuff here, acetone. No, I don't really know the English phrase for that, sorry. <laughs> but the surface must be really, really clean. If it isn't clean, the result will be poor. So, you see this? Right, okay. I always recommend to do this, um, removing the photo finish, either um, directly before you think on soldering the board or tinning. Because don't remove it any, f uh, any sooner because it is very protective, the copper. As you can see the copper is very bright and shiny now. Looks, looks almost like silver very very nice after cleaning it but the problem about copper is here that it uh, uh, oxidates very very quickly and this is why every uh, professional PCB is at least tinned or say um, coated with gold or some other um, more valuable metal I mean if it would stay like that the way it is right now. If it would stay like that, oh man, that'd be neat. And you wouldn't need to, to tin or anything. Oh. It's still dirty now. Oh, there's fossils on that. So, so. Yeah. And don't touch it so there is no fat and other stuff on the surface. That's very important. And then you can go and tin it right away. Shaking. You can use this cold. I mean, once you've made the suspension, you can use it cold. Uh, works almost immediately, as you can see. Oh, yeah, but we're using about that much. That's alright. Um, the stuff is very. <laughs> it smells uh, smells awful, but um, it doesn't fume out. I mean, there's no gases involved. You shouldn't really touch the stuff, but let's just say, and it smells a little awful. But it's not as though it's stinking up the room. So <laughs> it's not 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 as bad as that. So if you did it right. Um, and the suspension, I mean this is a very potential stuff because I made it twice as strong as it may be and, and, and I guess I, I get at least 30, 40, 50 euro cards out of one of those packages I mean this is really good stuff I mean this is it already, I mean the way it looks you can really, you can take it out already If it is clean, 
The surf is clean, free from fat and everything, and it works very well and very quickly, very swiftly. Of course you have to water it like this because, okay, let's do this, one minute. Here it goes again. This is how it looks like. And it stays like that. Right? Okay. So I've shown you this too. And what I do with this suspension is I just <laughs> fill it back in. So this is just about it and see you soon.